What is going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Elsa. I'm a student at Baylor studying communication and violin performance. And yeah, I thought I would just take you through a little week in my life as a college student, just showing you all the things I have to do, practicing, homework, going to class, hitting the gym, all the things. This week is going to be kind of crazy and hectic, so I definitely wanted to vlog it for y'all. And yeah, right now it's about 7.45, so I need to head out to my 8 a.m. So I'm very happy you're here. I hope you will enjoy today's video. Um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps me out. And yeah, I cannot stall anymore. I need to go to class, so let's go. just back from music literature oh my goodness today's been literally so crazy i probably didn't vlog that much but right now it is 2 30. normally i go practice violin but actually i have a lot of homework to do so i'm gonna knock some of that out now i have to print out pictures of my family for this little chinese presentation i'm giving tomorrow so that'll be fun i also need to figure out what i'm gonna say and also do some music lit homework, reading, taking a quiz, all the things. Um, but I have to do that all before studio class. So we're gonna try to see how much we can get done. I did some homework and I also went to the gym. Now we're back here, it is 9.45, I've showered and I have a sudden urge to like make cookies for tomorrow because I need something sweet. We're gonna go make some cookies, finish up some Chinese homework and hopefully get to bed by 10.30. obviously had to taste test one because I could not put these away without tasting them. So I tasted one already. This is like my second one. It's so good. I think for next time I could add just a little bit more sweetness because they are quite bitter just because the cocoa powder, but it's very good. The texture is amazing. It's about 11 o'clock. I've been working on figuring out what I'm gonna say for my Chinese presentation. Called my family, did it to them. I said it in Chinese to them, so that was fun. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Right now, I just checked the weather. It is 42 degrees outside. I don't even know how that's possible. Yeah, I'm in a little sweater and jeans today. And yeah, that's the little fit for today. It's 7.57, I have an 8 a.m., so I gotta go. Hello friends, it's been a while since I've said hi to you guys. Basically, I went to do my Chinese presentation and that went really well. I'm glad that's done and over with. Um, but I had some lunch, ate some eggs, avocado, green beans, and then like three of the cookies I made last night. I got this one kombucha drink. It literally is giving me such fall vibes. It has fresh pink lady apple juice, um, turmeric juice, kombucha, fresh pressed carrot juice, cider spices. Hopefully this doesn't explode on me. All right, let's give it a taste. Definitely fall. Mm, I taste the turmeric. Honestly, I really like it. So I'm probably just gonna be sipping on this as I do more work. When I got back, I did a little quiz and reading for 
music literature. I have a violin lesson today, so I'm gonna go to that. And now I'm going to probably just do more schoolwork until I have to leave for violin. All right, I have just been doing some paper writing. I have like a rough draft kind of. It is 1.35, my lesson for violin is at two, so I'm gonna head over to McCrary. Once I get back, I'm probably going to study some Chinese and then I will finish up this paper tonight since it is due tomorrow. And I'm super excited to see my professor. Our violin lessons are literally just the best. Highlight of my week by far. I submitted my paper. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. Last night, I didn't really vlog, but last time you saw me, I was like showing you the sky. Anyway, I was heading to the gym with one of my friends. We had a super killer workout, squatted, did some chest bench pressing, I guess. I'm kind of sore this morning. I just felt like I wanted to say hi and good morning to you guys and just like encourage you like no matter what day you're going through if you're having like a rough day or you're just not feeling super inspired or motivated and everyone has those days so like don't beat yourself up about it i wrote a little poem and i wanted to share it with you guys if you follow my instagram you've probably already seen it by now but i just thought i would read it to y'all i wrote this last night actually sorry not last night but the night before that i'll just read it let me ask you a question. When was the last time you gazed at the stars in the sky or took the time to pick a flower nearby? When was the last time that you belted your favorite song out the car window, the faint summer breeze whispering hello? We have these precious moments in time that in the blink of an eye can simply vanish. So when was the last time you truly appreciated these simple moments in time? I think it's just like a great reminder to like find joy in the mundane, find joy in the everyday little things that seem so boring and simple because truly there's beauty and just artistry everywhere we look. Even that pretty shadow cast on the wall, we can just find these little nuggets of beauty everywhere we look if we're looking for it. And I think sometimes we're so busy and we're caught up in our schoolwork and our like stressful job or whatever is going on in life that we just, you know, kind of block it all out unintentionally sometimes. And so I've been trying to like be more present and just really take every day for what it is and just be extremely grateful for the life that I have. Anyway, I'm going to stop my little long rant now and get ready to leave. I also, let me like move you here. I have been putting coconut oil on my arms in the morning because it's been quite dry. I gotta say, I love the smell of coconut, so you know, that's just me. Some people really don't like it, so if you don't like the smell of coconut, probably don't do this, but I have to say my skin is super soft and I notice, obviously, when you have more moisturized skin, your tan stays for longer, so I've been liking that, keeping the little tan that I have from the summer. Well, I better stop chatting now because I actually need to go to my 8 a.m. I got done with BSO, orchestra went pretty well today. We were working on Enigma Variations by Elgar. And yeah, I think it's going okay. It's a very chaotic piece at some times, but you know, we're, we're getting through it. So now I'm heading to my music literature class. And then afterwards, we gotta get in a good practice session because yesterday was not it. I did not practice. I didn't have time to practice really, other than for a little bit of my lesson. Sorry. No, no, you're good. Sorry, I thought you were going that way. Thank you. The last time you saw me, I was at my survey of music literature class. That was super fun. We got to go to the library today and look at actual pieces written in like the 1900s 
or even in the 1800s. Lots of really, really neat hands-on type of activities. I'm right now at McCrary practicing. It's about 4 p.m. I have done about an hour and a half of practice. Now I'm gonna do some homework. I just print my homework here at the music school and then just do it as a little break from practicing. Um, but tonight, I think I'll probably go to a concert because I have to have recital credit. I only have been to three concerts and I need seven by the end of the semester. So I gotta catch up on that. I've just been working on this little fun piece. I can't really say a whole lot, but it has to be performed tomorrow. It's a Halloween piece, so. I don't know by the time this video is out, it probably won't be up yet. I'm not gonna say a whole lot because I don't want to spoil it. Also, I never gave you a full outfit glance. Here is today's outfit. I tried out the sponge. Oh my goodness, my professor let me um, try it out and it, it feels so amazing. I feel like I would probably never go back to a shoulder rest. Happy Thursday, friends. I'm heading out to Rhetorical Theory and Criticism. I've got a super comfy outfit, the BSL fleece, some sweatpants. I did my nails last night for the little gig thing I'm doing today. So that's why I was up late. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I am back here at the dorm. Rhetorical Theory and Criticism went well. Our next exam is a week from today, two in-class essays. So yeah, um, it'll be interesting. Um, we won't have to worry about that for a whole nother week though. So I went to the mail room after class, picked up some packages. My birthday is tomorrow, which is crazy. I cannot believe I'm turning 20. It just doesn't seem real. But I have some packages, little gifts that my family sent me. I am gonna open one today. I don't know. I could wait for all of them tomorrow, but I'm just very excited. And tomorrow's gonna be actually a very hectic, crazy day. So I feel like it'll actually be more meaningful to me to open some now. So I'm just gonna open one from Abercrombie. We've got two t-shirts, one gray t-shirt and one black t-shirt, and then a pair of jeans. So I'm gonna try this on and I'll be right back. You guys, I cannot believe this. The jeans fit so nicely. I don't think I've ever found a pair of jeans that fit me this good. Like this is insane. This is the little baby tee. And yeah, I ended up getting the jeans in a tall because I need like a longer inseam, I guess. But oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. Here's the black one. This one's a little bit longer so I can like really tuck it in. Ah, it's so soft. Thank you parents, uh, I really appreciate it. I just cannot get over it, it's so comfortable. All right, that is it for my little try on haul. It is one o'clock, I finished teaching one violin lesson. Normally I teach two violin lessons on Thursdays, but one student couldn't come today, so I just had one. I am excited for tonight because I get to get all dressed up. I do not like playing violin with nail polish on. I just think it makes my fingers feel like heavy, and I know that's like really weird because obviously it's probably not that much heavier, but it just feels like it to me. I'm gonna head back home, do some homework, and then we have a majors meeting for communications. Basically, it's just like making sure that we can get overrides for our classes so that we're put as priority for certain comm classes. So I'll be going to that from 2.30 to 3.30, probably coming back to practice, and then I get to get ready for tonight and do some homework and all that. I'm actually gonna take a music stand with me. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not, but I need one for tonight and these look pretty sturdy. friends it is like 11 20. i just wanted to say hello and just kind of fill you in on what happened basically i did the little violin gig thing the filming part went super well and my friend came with me armstrong browning library at baylor it is gorgeous it is just like a work of art it was so fun to just get to go around inside afterwards i came back ate dinner and then my friend and i went to the gym and that was super fun that was my last workout as a teen i just came to that realization it's very nostalgic because it's super weird like i'm gonna be 20 like 2-0 we hit like full body today so I'm probably gonna be very sore tomorrow, but you know what? A sore day is a good day, and I wouldn't have it any other way on my birthday. Good morning, friends.
friends, happy Friday. I cannot believe we've almost made it through the week. Today is my birthday. It's about 7.50. I'm gonna head out to my first class, which is interviewing. I forgot to mention last night, I ran into the sweetest subscriber in the world at the gym. Shout out to Maddie. She is literally the sweetest person ever. Um, very, very kind individual said hi to me and we just like chatted and it was like so sweet. So I just wanted to like share that because little moments like that just like completely make my day and really just encourage me and I and I hope that if I ever get to meet any of you that you know just talking to you encourages you too she was like you're one of the main reasons I came to Baylor and all this stuff and I was just like my heart is melted anyway I'm gonna head out because I don't want to be late um, but I'm probably gonna get ready more when I come back my legs are so sore I am back from my 8 a.m. I thought I would just kind of chat with you guys because I don't know, I just have a lot of thoughts on my mind as I'm turning 20. So this is gonna be fun. I'm just gonna do a little bit of light makeup in honor of a little video launch at Mango People Cosmetics. I have the bronzer in the shade Chai and then the little multi-stick for blush and stuff in the shade Peach. Very bright, I'm realizing. Anyway, I do have just a lot of thoughts running through my mind right now. It's just crazy. The whole thing with the Mingo People Cosmetics. So basically, they asked if I could, they could use one of my videos on their page. So apparently, it's dropping today, which I, they told me about it a week ago. And I was like, wow, they don't even know it's my birthday, but it's going to be my little birthday gift. So I think that's really sweet. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Anyway, I basically just got the footage back from last night's filming session. So, so cool. And I'm probably not going to be able to put it into this video just because it won't be released until Halloween. It was just phenomenal and it was so fun to put together. The videographer was absolutely amazing. Shout out to Tom at Baylor. Such a sweet individual, such a kind, really cares about students. And just like, it was just amazing working with him and getting to see like, all that he does behind the scenes with the camera work. It was so fun to like see the violin showcased in such a very artistic way that I think will appeal to a lot of people who maybe don't traditionally listen to classical music. Honestly, I should be practicing violin because we have sectionals today. There's so many things that like I just look back at and I've grown so much in this year and I'm just very, very thankful. Number one would probably just be like my like physical health. The Lord has just really been so good to just allow me to feel a lot better and have a lot less pain and chronic illness symptoms and things like that. So I've been very, very grateful to the Lord for that and just, you know, my family and new friends that I've made this year at Baylor. And I gotta say, uh, sophomore year coming back was very rough uh, for several reasons, but the Lord has just really helped me um, just find people. And I'm very, very thankful for that. All right, next. Here is the multi-stick. It is gorgeous. Look at this. Just like even seeing people at the gym last night, it was all just like, it all felt like little birthday gifts to me. Just getting to interact with people is just such a gift. Even if I never had material gifts, the best gift is really just having community. Last night when I worked out with my friend, like literally that was just like so fun and it was my last workout as a as a teenager. And even when the days are long and when I feel very discouraged or something, I just have to like remind myself that like God's always with me and that like there will be ups and downs, but the downs are never forever. They, they don't stay that way forever and there will be um, better days to come. I think I'm gonna curl my lashes, but I don't wanna put mascara on because anything on my eyes anymore just really irritates them and then I feel like it dries my eyes out. I don't know if that's just me. All right, friends, here's the makeup. I don't know if you can see, it's like so bright out, so. Here's the makeup. I'm also wearing the Abercrombie t-shirt with some of these uh, Gymshark shorts. Very cute. They have the little biker shorts underneath. Anyway, just wanted to say good morning and this is getting ready with me as a 20 year old. I am going to open two more things. One is from a brand, another is probably food. Um, and then I have a little birthday card that I will open later, probably tonight. I have a feeling, I think it might be chips. Oh my goodness, it is. Okay, 
got some Siete chips here. These are literally my favorite chips to put on anything. And this next one is a shampoo by the brand Jupiter. They gifted this to me, very sweet of them. Can we just appreciate this packaging? So minimal looking and beautiful. It's a dandruff shampoo, balancing shampoo, cleans and calms. It's got coconut oil and algae extract. This sounds wonderful. Jupiter let me know that the first 20 people who DM them and say Elsa's gift, and make sure you spell it with an H, um, they will hook you up with a free product if you would like. Thank you, Jupiter. You had no idea that it was my birthday, but it was. Oh my goodness, we did. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is Grace's. So good. All right, and then I got my usual, the little Chipotle bowl. Oh. Thank you to Grace for buying me dinner <laughs> Kind of. We used to buy one, get one, because <laughs> we're cracking up. Because I'm like, I gotta use it, and if I don't use a buy one, get one with someone else, it's just gonna go bad. So we went shopping, got a lot of groceries. Here is the cart. Very thankful for this, because we would have had to take like seven trips. <laughs> I mean, I think I think our sectional went okay. I hope it just goes so fast in Elgar, like the end. I'm just like not get lost in. There. I didn't realize I didn't know what we were playing. So like I was talking to Mary Grace, and she's like, "Yeah, we have the shots of COVID as well." Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize I haven't looked at it at all. I didn't know. I just sight read it the yeah, first time. That's it. All right, friends, right now it is 6.15 in the evening. I ate an amazing birthday dinner, thanks to Grace. Chipotle was amazing as always. I'm now just going to the rest of the night just chill. I think I'm gonna go outside and like try to capture some like cute aesthetic images and videos for Instagram and for just like content in general. It is kind of sunset-ish outside, so it will be very beautiful. Also, I wanted to shout out two sweet, sweet girls that I met in the elevator coming upstairs. I asked them their names and they told me, and they're like, wait, do you do YouTube? And it's like so, so heartwarming. I just am so thankful and it just totally makes my day. It makes me just smile on the inside so much.